Hey, so we're back from our quick trip. Yeah. Uh, we stress ate a lot of cheese. So uh, here we are. Uh, sweating grease. Sweating grease trying to get in a quick run. In suddenly 90 degree weather. What the? What, what the? What? Yeah. So um, we'll share some footage with you and then we'll have a really quick recap. Let you know what's going on. Thanks for watching. Is it going? Oh, it's going. Action. <laughs> Action. <laughs> hey, hey, everybody. So we're back. Uh, quick recap, uh, if you've been following along. We just came back from a, uh, a somber visit uh, for uh, the funeral of a uh, beloved family member. Uh, it, it was a six-hour drive for us there, and we just got back, uh, I don't know, a couple of hours ago and um, decided to um, uh, go out for a run. So uh, that's where we are right now. Thanks so much for uh, joining us. So, lessons. Let us tell you how to not go for a run. First of all, don't get in the car and drive six hours. Get all dehydrated because you don't want to stop to pee. Travel with your dog because your babysitters are also going to this funeral. Mm -hmm. uh, so figure out how to do that because she doesn't travel with us very often. Uh, get to your destination, spend two full days with your family eating uh, lots of comfort and stress food, uh, Mexican food, pizza, lots of stuff in between, uh, go to a funeral, have that whole stress experience. Oh yeah, spend two nights in an Airbnb on not your own bed and so far from not your own bed, it's the worst night's sleep you've probably ever had for two nights. Then get up the day that you're supposed to leave, go for a walk, say, hey, we should actually plan to go for a run mm. in gorgeous 50 degree weather and no humidity and no hills. Decide not to do that. Get in the car, go ahead and go home where it's 90 degrees. You still haven't had any water because you didn't want to pee a second time for six hours in the car. Okay, so here's, here's what just happened. It's our annual first reminder of how much we hate running in heat. Oh, yeah. It's not even spring yet. I know. And we just went for a 90 degree heat of the afternoon run. Yeah. And I'm not happy about it. Um, it and when, it, when it, I say... It was, it, was pretty, it was pretty bad. When I say go for a run, I mean run, I don't know, a mile and a quarter. Yeah. And then have to stop because you think you're going to throw up. I, we had to stop and walk very slowly back yeah. and find a creative route to get home oh, yeah. that was only on common ground in the area in our neighborhood just in case I did pop. I didn't want it to be on someone's lawn. Yeah, you don't want somebody running out. You don't want somebody running the out. Era, so what are you doing on my lawn? In the era of uh, ring doorbells, oh, you really yeah. can't puke in someone's yard anymore. Oh, yeah, that's true. Gone are the days of puking in someone's yard. Shoot. How I missed that. Anonymously. <laughs> yeah, so we... We made it back. Hey, you know what? I, we really didn't want to do anything today because it was it was pretty stressful, man. It's and, been a stressful. And, few weeks. and and then you know being in the car today for six hours and, and finally getting home, you know, it's a long yeah. drive and stuff. So oh, so we got out there. Hey, you know, look awesome. at us. But <laughs> that was awful. bear that in mind anytime you think, uh, you know, hey, maybe we should. Holy moly! So in uh, two weeks we have the Bluebell Ice Cream Half Marathon. So this coming Saturday, we will be feeling better and we'll have a route. You have an update. Yes, we'll have a route to run 
And, uh, you know, we'll share all that with you. Now, I did say I was having some knee problems. I have an update. So I got some x-rays and apparently, you know, I've got this pain. It's just really, really bad. I've never had this area of my uh, leg hurt. Uh, really concerned that maybe I'm making it worse. Uh, so, and, and the pain's just like there and, oh man. Ugh. So they took x-rays of my knee and there's nothing wrong with my knee. Yay! Why does it hurt so much? Exactly. So uh, I start PT this week, and I'm going to do PT twice a week uh, for several weeks. I'm really excited because my physical therapist is awesome. He got me all fixed up before the marathon this year. Uh, he's great. And so I'm looking forward to him helping me out because what is going on? Anyway, good news. Nothing wrong with my knee. Uh brr. Uh, but I'm going to have some PT and hopefully I won't have the pain that I'm having. So that update, check. We will see you next week. We're going to have a route to share with you. Get out there because, oh, again, we want all the ice cream we can eat. Two weeks from now. The I Rubo, really time. hope it's not this warm in two weeks. It may be. Okay, well, then I'm eating soft serve because we're going to do it. It, it, it. Hopefully. Actually, maybe the heat would work with ice cream. Yeah, it'll be great. Yeah. You know, maybe. hey, I'll yeah. be I'll be fine if the water stops have like ice cream. Gross. I don't think I would <laughs> yeah, be. <right? laughs> what if they had like non dairy soft serve at the water? Maybe stops? like sorbet. Yeah, I could do some sorbet. Yeah, yeah, that could work. Bluebell, if you're listening. <laughs> sorbet yeah. at the water right. stops. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> stick with us. You know, oh. there'll be some awesome surprises. We've never done this run, so yeah. I don't even know what the terrain is like up there. Is it still hilly over there? I don't know. It's like an hour and a half from where we live. I have no idea what you know what, what the terrain is. I just thought it'd be like hills of ice cream and scoops, sprinkles. And, scoops of ice cream. Yeah, yeah. So it is hilly. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for uh, watching. Uh, we really want to hear from you. Remember, uh, send us some questions. Uh, so maybe we can put together a, a Q&A video. We are just thrilled about ice cream, not so much about the weather. You know what? <laughs> it's always an adventure with you. We'll see you next week.